hi welcome with another video today I'm going to show you how we can do document segment classification like this if you can see here if you can watch uh, here so so here uh, when I pass the image it will segment out the document like this one so if you can see here it's segment out the figures like this one and the paragraph and the table so here is the example if you can see here the equations are look like here and uh, the text and something like that so this is the figure and this uh, is uh, also a figure and it's representing uh, the figure and it showed the text here so again this is the image for the next one so you can see like this one so let me close all this is the table you can see here it's show that this is the table in the docu document and uh, so how many just you can see also this one here so how we can do that so let me go with all images first of all there's a lot of images in this particular in input file so let me close uh, this one is the last one yeah this is the last one successfully done so so you can see here so what I did when I I took this document as a input if you can see here it's content 24 pages here as the input so it will generate it will uh, it takes that PDF file and convert into PNG let me delete this one this all convert into the P, uh, PNG and then detect the output so I'm going to close this one how it works so I just open that when I create this script so this is a script that take the input and input of uh, that image that PDF file and convert into if you can see the code here input file and convert that into PNG format and I already trained that model a unit the uh, Jolo v3 model with the weights and CFG files so how I did that so I'm going to show the training part so here you can see that in the previous video I talk about how to train the YOLO network model I'm not going to uh, talk about again so I just mentioned that files object dot C so I label that images if you can see zero one images and corresponding uh, <coughs> corresponding labels are there so here was the my data if you can see the data set I just took some images from the papers like some I just take some paper and convert into the jpg files and after that what I did here I just convert into object.zip and when, with the labels so these are the images with the corresponding uh, text file you can say the labels and these are the script for training the model and obj that data will contain some files here the seven files and uh, name of the classes I have seven classes it will show that author title predict text figures table page uh, number and after that <coughs> equation so we have total seven classes here and after training the model it will give me it will give you something like that uh, weights and configuration file configuration file represent uh, represent the layers of uh, the model how the model looks like its number of uh, channels and filter and uh, uh, atom optimizer and some everything here the classes here is that are represent so these three files will be needed for predicting the output so after training the model we need to make the folder like this one and put these three files in here and, uh, and then uh, you this library popular dot something like that is helpful for taking that PDF file and then convert into JPG and then we apply the model on that particular file so I'm going to show you the output again so let me show you this one again to you so this is the whole script you need to run this script so how does this work it will take that particular path I as an as I mentioned 
as I discussed previously so it will read some class names and weights train training model and also CFG file for the YOLO v3 you can also train uh, which whatever you want like YOLO v4 YOLO v5 and which model you like it so this script uh, PDF to image will work so this is the library I'm calling and uh, uh, so I'm passing the depth dpi size is equal to 200 you need to pass more so it will give you the bigger picture of that one so after that i'm converting uh, that images and png and then uh, so you can see here after converting that images i'm also saving and also applying the model so it will save that images in uh, here and also apply the model and you can see here is i'm applying the model and predicting the output of the model the output will be like uh, uh, author name detection and text detection and something like that here is the code the whole code let me rerun this file again to show you so if you can see that I'm just taking one input here so here is the input file so I'm going to rerun this one file again so how I do this one so this is the uh, path PDF to image so I'm going to run this one so when I press run so it asks me to pass some input so you can see here I'm just go there I'm just passing the PDF file here after passing it will ask me to press convert when I click on that convert options so you can see here something like it takes some time here we have to wait here so it says that with 84.84 seconds needed and after that it will it's convert this one you can see this one here is the results of that one so I can't see this is quite bit uh, not visible but it's converted you can train the model and you can see this one it says some syntax and predictions value you need to you need to uh, let me sh uh, you need to change this one let's pause I'm going to close this window let's pause I'm making this uh, 200 dip to 400 so let's see how it will work so let me close this one and also remove the files which are generated up to here so let's see how it will work let me read and connect to the kernel again so for 400 dp let's see oh sorry what's going 400 so let's see is that work or not oh sorry so okay so let's suppose I'm going to run this one again so it will take some time here so convert oh I sh I need to convert and after that it will take some time to show you so let's see we need to wait for a while I'm sorry yeah I'm still waiting here how long it will take if you have a good machine it will take less time as compared to my machine so yeah it's done I think yeah it's show me something like that yeah we can see oh it's quite bit uh, it's it's predicting this one number and but so I, I think I need to change this one oh it's not mentioning uh, 400 dp means quite bit more not visible here so I have to change this one again so let me make it this time a uh, 50 dp yeah uh, let's see here so let me close the window again and uh, go there and remove remove these three files and see how it look like on 50 dp so rerun for the last so yeah convert this one and see how it will work so ah you can see here yeah it's looking like a big picture you can see uh, this is mentioning the text here the text here and the title yeah the model is working perfect so figure and text here and text here and the page number ah, it's looking giving us a good results here the equations and equations and text yeah you if you you will train the model with a more and it will give you a better results a text here and something like that so it's working perfect so I think the 50 dp is enough so I'm going to go till this end figure and text and something I think we have uh, 25 
PDF of, uh, pages. So if you can see here, it's also predicting the page number, text file, and the figure and and text and something. Yeah, the model is predicting good. So if you want to train the more more approaches, the prediction will be more better. So I think that's hope that's good. So it's text and it's not detecting the table, but that's fine. Text pages and the next one is yeah yeah it's predicting the table also in this yeah the model is working perfect cool so yeah the page the last one we did not train for the yeah it says that this is the text yeah the model is predicting perfect yeah so successfully done so if you can see it will also generate the png files here so let me remove this one so i hope you get the idea how the code is working here and uh, thank you so much for watching this video i will upload the code uh, code and fits uh, link so you can just need to uh, need to download the weights and put the weights into here because i am not able to upload this code on my github repository this weight weights if you can see the size of this uh, weight weight file is too much uh, so it is it will be not uploaded so i will mention the link you can you just need to download the weights from that link and put it here and make sure w uh, yolo v3 and dot uh, dot weights the the folder name will be like this one and make sure you are just putting the folder here the weights file here so thank you so much for watching this video